obviously the cutoff is going to be lower for Delhi University. It's very likely. Mm-hmm. Unless you need the cutoff of JNU will go higher. But in subsequent lists, I'll take back my name. Very the cutoff good, very good. You are not a person who's very comfortable and interested in mathematics. Mathematics. Please don't come to DS. Why is DSE famous? Mostly for its placements. वो उनको graduation में मिल रही है अच्छी बात. Eighteen lakh, twenty lakh. वो उनको graduation में मिल रहा. Guys, please watch till end. Let's start. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see. Ki, yeah, but ah, fir, I'm just happy that I'm going to DSE. That's DSC. the first. That's priority. that's for sure. Yeah. Then आगे करें. हाँ. Then you scored three hundred twelve. I got two fourteen domain that is particularly important for JNU. Exactly. So JNU considers only part B that is out of three hundred marks. Mm-hmm. So out of three hundred in economics, I've got two forty. And based yeah, on the yeah. previous year cutoff, I think two forty is pretty safe yeah, for please. general category. I'm from general category mm-hmm. only. Mm-hmm. Now talking about DSC, uh, DSC has two categories. So it's like category one is for everybody who has done any uh, bachelor's degree with mathematics okay. in either twelfth or graduation. Okay. You must have mathematics in either twelfth or in any one semester of uh, your graduation or mm-hmm. your masters if you have mm-hmm. done masters. Mm-hmm. And the category two is only for those people who have done bachelors in economics honors from University of Delhi, any okay. college of you. Okay. Eco honors only. If you have done BA program or BCom or anything else, you will not be considered for category two. Okay. So. In all colleges, but you know, in economics there is only one DSE. Mm-hmm. But this applies to all other subjects also for history, geography, other subjects also. Fifty percent seats are meant for category one, mm-hmm. and fifty percent seats are meant for category two. Two years. Uh, being a student from economics honors in Delhi University, we also qualify for category one. So we qualify for both category. That is why it becomes a quota. It's a fifty percent mm-hmm. quota. Mm-hmm. And the reservation for caste like S C S T E W S and all uh, O B C N C L P W D all those are the same at the uh, national level. The percentages are the same. That's twenty seven percent for O B C. They're all the same. They have not been affected. And they'll be separately applied on both categories. Category mm-hmm. one may be and category two may be. Dono me reservation chalega. Wo affect nahi hoga. Mm-hmm. Now uh, you know there are two categories D U and non D U and obviously because of the quota. The people who have done eco honors from Delhi University will face a lower cutoff, obviously, okay, obviously. because because there are uh, you know we have kind of if I say of general category we have total fifty nine plus fifty nine one hundred eighteen seats. Mm-hmm. However, open category students have only fifty nine seats. Correct, so correct. obviously the cutoff is going to be lower for Delhi University. It's very likely. Mm-hmm. Unless DU students perform exceptionally well, it is going to be the case that DU students. Sir, wh- what about outsiders? I mean, I know people from, mm-hmm. especially from Bengal. They say, "Wow, Calcutta University is, Jadhav Pur University is. They are very good in quant, so they are also scoring pretty high, approx two eighty to ninety. Unke marks are. Mm-hmm. I am getting. So they will be considered in category two, right? They will be considered in category one. Actually, the categorization okay. is like category two is for DU. Okay, sorry. It's just the number doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. They will be considered in open category. Yes, open category. they will be considered in open category only. Mm-hmm. And there is a particular reason behind it. ऐसा नहीं है कि सिर्फ हवा में DU students को favour कर रहे हैं. There is a reason because वो ये चाहते हैं कि सिर्फ एक exam के basis पे अब वो admission ले रहे हैं. जो कि एग्जाम भी उन्होंने कंडक्ट नहीं किया दे डिट प्रिपेयर द क्वेश्चन पेपर एक्जेक्टली सो वॉट दे वॉन्ट इज बिकॉज द ड्रॉप आउट रेट ऑफ डी यू डी एस सी इज वेरी हाई बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स मैथमेटिकल एंड रिग्रेस नेचर दे वॉन्ट इट एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट इन देयर कॉलेज बी दोज हु हैव नॉट जस्ट रियलाइज बट ऑल्सो एक्सपीरियंस द मैथमेटिकल नेचर ऑफ डेली यूनिवर्सिटी एक्जेक्टली एक्जेक्ट Yeah. many people enter du every year that is dsc every year but when they see the highly mathematical nature of delhi university they live they live find it difficult to survive mm-hmm. so to maintain the batch they have 50% quota for delhi university eco honor student because okay. we have already seen the mathematical nature in our own exams also we used to have mathematical questions only so now ab hum beech mein ek cheez main aapko rokna chahunga जो डीएससी का जैसे मैंने बोला कि दे फेल द एग्जाम एंड दे ड्रॉप आउट तो उनका क्या क्राइटेरिया रहता है बाय हाउ मच सीजीपीए यू नीड टू मेंटेन और कितने सेमेस्टर्स में आपको पास होने रहते हैं इन डीएससी ओके सो द रूल्स आर द सेम एज यूजी एंड दे आर द सेम फॉर पीजी अटेंडेंस इज नॉट मैंडेटरी इन दिल्ली स्कूल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स दैट्स अ गुड एडेड एडवांटेज हाउएवर हाउएवर पीपल डू अटेंड लेक्चर्स बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो सब्स्टिट्यूट फॉर दैट Mm-hmm. so when you attend lectures you have uh, for example if i talk about the first semester because most of the students fail in first semester this okay. is not the case with other semester because if you because other semesters are not that mathematical okay. they are but jab tak agar aap wahan pahunch gaye to aapko aadat lag jati hai aaram se aaram se so first semester is very important particularly mm-hmm. there are only three subjects in first year mm-hmm. that is micro 
maths and statistics and econometrics that's mm-hmm. a combined subject statistics and econometrics mm-hmm. all the three subjects are divided into two parts mm-hmm. part a and part b so mm-hmm. kind of it becomes six subjects mm-hmm. so you have to give all the exams mm-hmm. that's like three days but mm-hmm. you know you get different question paper for part a and different for part b mm-hmm. but the same time and different answer sheets so you have to qualify those three papers and there's the same rule applies that if you pass in two of the three papers you are promoted to the next year okay. and you can come clear your back in the second year mm-hmm. that goes on the same you should be passed in 50% of the subject that is two subjects at least okay and uh, if you so if you're not passed in uh, you know uh, two subjects even then you have you get an er that is essential repeat you have to repeat that year with in which case most of the people decide to drop out and go for other universities like isi or jnu also yeah. many people they are right तो सपोज दैट कि मैं दूसरी बार भी पास नहीं कर पाया तो मुझे यूनिवर्सिटी वहां से निकाल देगी राइट नो आई थिंक आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर अबाउट दिस बट आई थिंक देयर इज अ 4 ईयर टाइम दैट यू कैन कंप्लीट योर ग्रेजुएशन इन 4 इयर्स सो यू गेट टाइम मास्टर्स इन 4 इयर्स या यस बट द यूजुअली द केसेस आर नॉट लाइक दैट यू नो किसी को भी अपना साल बर्बाद करना पसंद नहीं है सो इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू कंप्लीट इन 1 और 2 इयर्स और 3 इयर्स then most of the people usually back out they yeah. drop it because mm-hmm. you know it becomes very difficult when you are also studying the third semester exams mm-hmm. and the, those subjects and you are also sub, uh, doing the first semester paper mm-hmm. which was already difficult so yeah. it's like a huge burden yeah तो ध्रुव एक चीज मैं आपको बताना चाहूंगा आपने काफी गहरे से अध्ययन किया कि डीयू के बच्चे को कितने मार्क्स आ रहे हैं नॉन डीयू को कितने मार्क्स आ रहे हैं तो आपको क्या लग रहा है जो डीयू के बच्चे हैं डीयू के लिए ऑल टुगेदर 118 सीट्स आर देयर राइट इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग हंसराज हिंदू सेंट स्टीफिन these colleges and these colleges people usually do not prefer to go to dsc why is it so because why is dsc famous mostly for its placements wo unko graduation mein mil rahe hain achhe mein 18 lakh 20 lakh wo unko graduation mein mil raha hai and a lot of people from these colleges have already opted for placements so what they want is ki ek do saal pehle placement kar lete hain uske baad masters kar lenge ya fir upsc kar lenge upsc bahut sare karte hain many people are going for jnu why are they not opting for dsc because dsc is for placements placement unko yahan bhi mil rahi hai jo above average colleges hain uh, who get a package of 5 lakh 6 lakh 8 lakh for example my college dcsc mm-hmm. those students have dc dsc as a luxury okay. that's the okay. prior that's the main aim ki dsc jana so usually the scores are very low mostly i've seen uh, like in most of the colleges i've seen that the topper is scoring about 270 280 or something however second rankers are usually 220 or hardly 230 to general ka cut off 200 is safe for general category du um, students i think for general category du students it should be around 230 because seats bhi utni zyada nahi hai so i think 230 ke around cut off rehna chahiye fir, fir kuch second list wagaira bhi aayengi iske baad ha ah, i'm talking about first list only i'm okay, talking about okay. first list first only list, huh. uske baad uh, uske baad uh, it would be revealed na ki people are opting jnu or yes, what are their preferences yes yes because for example i'll apply to jnu also but mm-hmm. my first preference is dsc because yes. of me the cut off of jnu will go higher but in subsequent list i'll take back my name very the cut off will go good, lower very good very so, good so and and for open category uh, the cut off i think should be around i think 2 250 or 260 260 should be safe i think for general actually we don't have a good idea because exactly exactly nahi like, main uh, isliye bol raha hu ki people who are writing this year na we have done also voting however less number of sample we have mm, uh, yeah yeah, yeah it's still it's still there but whatsoever is sample 260 uh, plus very less number of people are there who are scoring 260 तो आई थिंक जो सेकेंड या थर्ड लिस्ट आएगी जो भी अदर स्टूडेंट्स हैं नॉन डी यू स्टूडेंट्स आई कुड एक्सपेक्ट कि 240 तक भी जनरल कैटेगरी से उनका एडमिशन हो सकता है 
many people move to JNU, many people will even switch uh, to the UPSC coaching or many people mm -hmm. even go for an and whatsoever the reason. And in the name of quick placement, as you told, ki course is very tough. It doesn't matter that you can score in CUT, you can score in DSC, you can tick in DSC, no any guarantee. Yeah, like that's a pro tip I can say. If ah. you are not a person who is very comfortable and interested in mathematics, mathematics. please don't come to DSC. Please yes, this don't. Is, this is very important point. Many kids have lost their life in this thing, that it will happen, it will happen, it will happen. If you don't love mathematics by heart, Please don't opt for it because the course. अगर आपको actual में जानना है, आप please first semester का exam देखो, पूरा seventy marks का exam होता है, entire is numericals only. कुछ theory नहीं आता है वहाँ पर. So it's very important for you because you know Delhi university people already know it. We have seen in graduation also, but it's not the same for other universities. And it was also kind of shocking for me when I learned that other universities uh, don't have this kind of mathematical course. So no, it must no. be uh, shocking for you also कि इतना mathematical कराते हैं यहाँ पर Delhi University. No. I don't know what the reason mathematical. Uh, one one word था. or one advice you would suggest कि देखिए what I found कि CUT का score paper was tough but not that tough कि खुद से आप करके जो भी था मैंने देखा correlation से questions थे CL आराम से थे basic थे आप book से कर सकते हो. Even if you are scoring 280 to 290 that you should not understand कि मैं बहुत महारथी हूँ मैंने math stats eco tricks कर लिया है और मैं DSC ही जाऊँगा and there is also hype created about DSC आपका DSC नहीं हुआ तो आप बेकार आदमी हो आप कुछ नहीं जानते हो economics में आप कुछ नहीं कर पाओगे future में if DSC then only otherwise you are die do or die वाले में सिर्फ DSC नहीं है there are so many things that people can explore so what would be the word of advice for those kind of people uh, one of my knowns called me like yesterday only and he's from hmm. Andhra Pradesh okay. although we have a language barrier because he does not understand Hindi and his <laughs> English ka accent I don't understand but then anyhow we manage I also ask him what I'm saying I also suggest that being from Hyderabad <laughs> being, being from that area I think you should go for universities which are in your region Exactly. I'm opting for DSC or JNU only because I'm from NCR. Exactly. If there is a good university in your past, then I think you should go, you should prefer that. Now, as long as you stay close to your family, you get a motivation in life. Exactly. Exactly. You know, you get that if you feel low, you can always go to your family. Yes. And I think JNU is equally close. Yeah. And it keeps you on your toe. You live in your own place, you know your own place. मुझे क्या करना है एक दो महीने फ्रेंड्स के साथ आप चिल भी कर रहे हो अरे नहीं घर का ये स्थिति है मुझे ये करना है लाइफ में ये करना है तो एक डिसिप्लिन रहता है बना हुआ पीपल से दिस फॉर आई एस आई ऑल्सो की आई एस आई नहीं हुआ तो ड्रॉप कर लो वो कर लो आई डेंट इवन गिव आई एस आई एग्जाम तो दैट लाइक यूर प्रेफरेंस इफ यूर नॉट अ मैथम आई एम नॉट अ रिसर्च काइंड ऑफ पर्सन तो मैंने आई एस आई नहीं दिया इफ यूर नॉट अ मैथमेटिकल पर्सन Just confidently say that I'm not opting for DSC. I like JNU. I'm trying for JNU. I like HC. I'm going for HC, UBHU. Mm -hmm. There are so many universities. Yes. And yes. I personally think that drop से अच्छा है कि आप जो भी अच्छी university आपको central university मिल रही है, आप please वहाँ पर admission लें. Because yes. there is absolutely no guarantee that you'll score higher next year. Exactly. इस बार का paper was completely unpredictable. I didn't expect these questions. मेरा maths अच्छा है, तो जैसे I scored really good. तो how you scored 312? Because it was not only maths. Theory के भी questions काफी थे. That you cannot ignore. The point is कि मैंने पूरा जितना भी